Hey, this is Terratoots with an introduction to using the Fake Stone Shader in Terragen 4. The Fake Stone Shader is a nice tool to procedurally generate rock populations, among other uses. In this video, we'll cover the basics of Fake Stones, as well as applying displacement and shading to make them look more realistic. We'll start out in the default scene. Unless you're planning to create gigantic rocks, it's usually best to put Fake Stones in the Shaders section. First, let's create a new surface layer. A useful tip when working with fake stones is to make them a child of a surface layer. That way, we can use the coverage, altitude, and slope constraints of the parent layer to control the placement of the fake stones. Let's call this rock container, and we'll turn off the built-in color of the surface layer so that our rock colors will show through later. Okay, now we're ready to create a new fake stone shader. We'll go ahead and connect it to the child layer's input of our container. Immediately, we can see some bumps appear on the terrain. It's important to notice that fake stones are not an actual population, but rather a displacement applied to the terrain, so they don't have the same controls that a normal object population would have. If we open up the settings here, we can see stone scale and density. Stone scale controls the size of the stones in meters, while density controls the spacing. If we come over to shape, we'll find tallness, which influences the height of the stones, and pancake effect, which controls how much the stones bulge outwards horizontally. I'm going to set the stone scale to five meters, turn off the default color, and let's pick a rock to get a closer look at. By default, fake stones look pretty low poly and they're white colored. We can fix that by using the surface shader input to add some displacement and coloring. First, displacement. Go ahead and add a power fractal. We'll call it rough displacement. And before we plug it in, let's turn off the color and change a few settings. The displacement scale is very important for fake stones. Make the scale too large and your stones will explode, which can look cool but takes forever to render. A good rule of thumb is to make the lead-in scale, which is the largest scale, about the same as the stone size, so five in our case. The feature scale, which is the average displacement size, should be about half that or less. And you can choose the smallest scale based on how much detail you want. I'm planning to add another detail shader later, so let's bring this up to 0.05. Next, come over to the Displacement tab. The displacement amplitude should usually be less than half of the stone scale. We'll do 1.75 meters here. And I'm also going to reduce the displacement roughness and spike limit to make the surface a little less jagged. We'll also come over to Tweak Noise and change the noise flavor to Voronoi Ridges, which I think makes a nice surface here. Now we're ready to plug into our surface shader connection, and you can see the displacement take effect. We'll follow this up with a smaller scale power fractal to add some more detail to the surface. We'll call this Fine Detail, and I'm setting this one to 0 0.25, 0 0.1, and 0 0.01 for the scales and 0.05 for the displacement amplitude. We'll bring the roughness down just a bit as well. Next is coloring. With the geometry done, we can turn on the ray traced preview for this part. We'll add one more power fractal and call this one rock colors. We'll turn off displacement for this one and turn on apply low color. This will let us use both the high and low color to create a nice gray pattern. I'm going to set the scales here to 3, 1, and 0.01. You can also use a normal color layer for this part if desired. We can turn on the shader preview in the ray trace preview to see the results of our color. To review, we've learned to lay down fake stones, adjust their size, and add displacement and coloring. In the next video, we'll cover combining several different fake stone shaders to create a rock field.